Hey everybody, welcome back to Begin Again. Today we are talking about power, and when we're talking about horsepower, some is good, but more horsepower is better. So stay tuned. with my buddy Jack out here at NTK. Jack is the proud owner of this barrel with a TM KZ engine. I'm the proud owner of a Sodi cart with a Honda uh, stock moto engine. And today the idea is let's go out. We know the TM is going to be faster, right? I mean, no question about that. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. But what we want to know is, is it going to work for somebody who's fairly new to the sport to just jump in and drive a KZ, or would they be better off spending a little bit of time in the Honda like I've been doing? All right. So, and so, what is your impressions of the cart so far? In my opinion, this is my favorite motor I've ever driven by far. It's once you get used to the power, it's much easier to drive. And you know, of course, once you get used to the horsepower, you know, you always want more. Yeah. But it's by far the best cart motor I've ever driven, and I've driven a lot of different kinds. Jack won the very last race out here at NTK in this cart with this engine, so he's a little partial to it. I'm yes, guessing. yeah, no, it's great. And um, so anyway, we're going to go and we're going to put Jack in both carts. That way you've got a really good driver driving both carts to give us a really good feel for what's let, going let's, on. Let me back on that. Good average driver. Good enough to win. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so Jack, time for you to go have some fun. Let's do it. We're going to do this. All right, man. Let's, Thanks. Let's roll. Okay, so while Jack is suiting up, let's take a look at the engines that we're going to be comparing today. Of course, this is the Honda that I've been running for the past year. And as most of you know, this engine originally started life as a motocross engine. It came off of a Honda motorcycle. And so the exhaust pipe comes out the front. And if it comes out the front, then the carburetor's got to be at the back. And of course, the packaging of the engine is not so great because with that exhaust coming out the front, that means it's occupying a bunch of space along the side of the cart. But still, it's a great engine and it has served us well. Now let's take a look at the KZ engine. The KZ engine, in this case manufactured by TM out of Italy, is purpose designed for shifter cart racing. As you can see, it's much more compact than the Honda. The carburetor is at the front, the exhaust is at the rear, and it fills in the space behind the seat. So some of that weight is in the center of the cart instead of hanging out on the side. It's a very, very nice, beautifully made unit. Jack went out on the Honda first and began the process of just kind of getting himself settled in. Now, North Texas Cartways is an old school, very, very technical track. It's half a mile long, has nine turns, and quite frankly, a shifter cart is something of a bull in the china closet at this place. However, when you can squeeze out a good lap, it's very, very satisfying. Okay, so Jack has now started one of his laps that were all pretty representative of what this cart can do. Going into turn two, coming through, nice exit down into the very slow turn three, accelerating up, grabbing a gear, through the chicane, cutting the chicane just a little bit, getting a really, really good run. You can see he topped out at about 64 miles an hour through here. Down into turn seven, accelerating up, grabbing uh, next gear, and then right back down again, hugging turn eight. It's a good exit out of nine, bogs the engine a little bit, but still pretty good. And again, he gets about 65 miles an hour out of this thing. Again, going through the chicane, and now he's going to turn around and run the track backwards. Jack really enjoys driving the track backwards, and so he's going to give it a shot going the other way and just to see, okay, what sort of a difference might we see? So here he is in the braking zone going into what was turn nine and now through eight. Track's top speeds are a little bit quicker, but not by much. 
Lap times are actually just a little bit slower for some reason. Through this corner, you really feel the G's as you come through. You can tell that the track was very greasy. The cart's slipping all over the place. And he hit about 68 miles an hour going down the straight here. Bringing it in into the pits. We've got the data that we need. So we're just going to settle Jack in, let him grab a drink of water, and then send him right back out again. After a short break, Jack blasted back out on the track with the KZ. And immediately it was obvious that he was going quicker, although for some reason, the heat of the day really affected the KZ more than it affected the Honda. The Honda was turning times that were roughly what you would expect the cart to turn. But for some reason, the KZ was a, quite a bit slower, about two to three seconds slower than it normally would run around this track. There I am with the camera. I think the thing that gets me about the KZ engine is it just seems smoother. You can kind of sense it in the video, actually. Two turn seven, good exit, shifting up, back down, going through eight, good run through nine, coming down the main straightaway now, 75 miles an hour, so much faster down the straight than the Honda. And then, of course, Jack tried the KZ going backwards. So here he is setting up for a lap going backwards. Into the braking zone. Up the short straightaway, grabbing a gear, back down again. And now the sun was really starting to play on us a little bit. There I am again. corners to go. Again, you can see Jack's really fighting the wheel. That track, again, very, very slippery. And so he brought it back in. So we got talking and decided, you know what, it'd be great to do just kind of a head-to-head -head drag race between the two carts. And maybe that would give you a good visual representation of what this looked like. So we just agreed, hey, we're going to do a drag race out of turn nine. Let's see what happens. We also thought we'd give you an aerial view. Jack gives me a little bit of a lead and then puts the hammer down and says, see ya. It just goes to show that the KZ, even if not optimized, is way better than the Honda. All right, so fun times. Yes. What do you think? I uh, can't wait till you get your new motor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That way it'll yeah. be a fair fight. Me too. Me yes. too. Um, you know what? I knew your cart was faster. But when we went and did the rolling start, it was just sort of like, you gotta be kidding me, man. Yeah, it's not fair. No, no, because that means whatever I lost on that straightaway, I'm losing it on every straight. Everything, yeah. Out here. Yeah. Now, from a drivability standpoint, if a guy was you know, had two or three years experience driving something else and he stepped into a, a KZ powered mm -hmm. cart, do you think he could handle it? Or oh, was it? Without a doubt. It's just a matter of getting used to it. It's way easier to drive than your cart. As you know, in your cart in second gear, it's too low and, and you get that shaking. Yep. On the KZ, you don't get that at all. It's, it's, like, it's like a sewing machine. Yeah. Yeah, it's way easier to drive. Yeah, a 16,000 RPM sewing machine. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, very nice. Yes. Um, any final thoughts? No, I, I just uh, I think the shifter class is uh, I've driven all carts and to get the thrill of a shifter there's nothing like it. Yeah. All right guys well thanks for joining us. Um, if you like this video hit the like button and if you could hit the subscribe button that'd really help us out. We'll see you next time. Yo Dick where's the whiskey? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>